everyone so today's video is going to be my december tbr now the day that i upload this video which will be friday for me because i'm filming this on tuesday like i said this video will go up on friday which will be my birthday so i would really appreciate it if you put like happy birthday in the comments it feels really weird to say that but I don't really have like any friends who tell me happy birthday so I would really appreciate it from you guys. I'm also just gonna say now there's currently like construction work happening outside and yeah I'm really sorry if you can hear it. I also am gonna say before I actually get into my December TBR I'm not sure if I like this outfit or not because I just bought this and this and it's not really the style of like accessory I usually go for, but I liked it when I saw it in a store, so I decided to buy it. And yeah, hopefully it looks okay, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. But yeah, let's just get into my December TBR. So in December, I'm going to try and read as many books as I can because my reading slump is finally over and... I want to be able to reach 150 uh, books and like mangas that I read this year and I still need 30 in order to do that so yeah I want to read a lot in December just because I am in a reading mood so yeah the first book that's on this list is a book that I've been meaning to like read or listen to for like this entire year and I'm actually gonna hopefully do it in December and that is Dear Martin. I'm not going to talk about this book for too long because I've talked about it a lot about how I want to read it. So yeah, I am going to read this book in December hopefully and I'm also going to listen to the sequel I think to, the, to this book which is Dear Justice which I don't have a physical copy of that one but I'm also going to listen to that one. So yeah. Then the next book is a book that I actually bought last week when my mom was visiting. Uh, which, if you don't know that my mom was visiting, I talked about it on my social media, which you can find like in the description box. But yeah, this is one of the books that I bought with my mom, and it's quite short, and I'm really excited to read it. So obviously, I am going to try and read it in December, and that book is Earthlings. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce the title, but yeah it's it's difficult to pronounce this yeah this book is by the same author as convenience store woman which i really enjoyed that book it has some like autistic representation even though people don't really talk about it i don't know if this book also has autistic representation it might but it also might not i don't know what this is about honestly but the cover is really adorable with this cute little like animal on the front. I have no idea what kind of animal this is supposed to be because I'm not that knowledgeable on like animals but yeah it's a very cute cover. I'm really excited to read it and it is really short so it shouldn't take me that long to read. So yeah on to the next book. So the next couple of books I want to read in December are I have mentioned them before they are BTS fan books. I really just want to make like the video of me analyzing them in December. So hopefully I'll actually be able to do it. Uh, I don't know why I keep putting it off. But yeah, I want to read more BTS fan books. I've already read one. And this month I want to read three. Uh, they're very easy to like get through. So it will count towards my Goodreads goal, which is good. But it is difficult to read them because it's just the same information over and over again and trying to like find mistakes which is you know it feels a bit like homework which is why I don't like doing it but I do want to make the video so yeah I am gonna hopefully read these in December and then make my video on it in December and hopefully I will be able to post that video in January so yeah then the next book that I want to read or better finish in December is Perfect on Paper. Now I am about 125 pages into this so I should be able to finish it in December even if it is a bit longer than I like like fast books. Like I wouldn't really read this fast 
but I am already like 125 pages into it so it shouldn't take me that long hopefully. One of the reasons why I'm reading this book so slowly is because I have such high expectations for it that I'm scared that I'm not gonna like really really like it but I am enjoying it kind of hopefully I will enjoy it more once I read more of it because like I said I'm only like 125 pages into it but yeah hopefully I will enjoy it more once I read more of it and hopefully I'll actually be able to finish it this month. Then next I'm gonna talk about some manga that I want to read in December and I don't know why this was a good idea but I decided to grab all of the volumes I own of Made Summer that I want to read and this is very heavy. I don't know why I grabbed all three of them because now my shelf looks really empty right here and I can barely hold them up. But yeah, I want to reread the first two volumes, which is this one. Uh, that's volume one and two. I want to reread this and then reread these four volumes. I am just going to show like the covers now because I feel like otherwise I grabbed them for no reason at all. So yeah. These are the first two volumes. I've already read these two, but I want to reread them. Then these are the third and fourth volume, which I haven't read yet. And then this is volume five and six, which again, I also haven't read. I have watched like most of the anime, I think. So I do know what, what's going to happen. But yeah, I haven't actually read like these two. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to read them this month, which I should considering like manga is very easy and fast for me to read so yeah then next in December I want to see if I can actually fulfill the promise that I made you guys about filming a 24-hour manga readathon uh, I haven't actually done it yet I want to see if I'm going to be able to do it this month and even if I don't film it, I will probably still do it. And the volumes I would want to read is uh, Haikyuu volumes. I own quite a few. I hope you can see them. I own quite a few. I think I own until volume 24. And I want to see if I'm going to be able to read all 24 in 24 hours. Which, now that I think about it, that's actually like a really nice title. So maybe I will do it this month. We'll, we'll see. Here are the like first two volumes again I, I don't know why I grabbed them I think it's because otherwise this video would just be me showing pictures of them even though I own them so yeah here are the first two volumes I'm also going to show you the back of this one because the back has like my favorite character on it so yeah if you don't know which one is my favorite character by the way it's this one on the left I have like a lot of like keychains of him and like a figure yeah Yamaguchi is like my favorite character so yeah then some more manga that I want to read in December are Demon Slayer volumes which again I don't know if you can see them like in the back but I own quite a few I don't remember how much like 12 maybe or something like that but yeah I own quite a few maybe I'll do like reading 12 volumes of like Demon Slayer in 12 hours like I don't know why I'm suddenly coming up with like video ideas but yeah I want to read like Demon Slayer volumes because again they're very easy and fast to read and I have already read these I've already read like a lot of Haikyuu volumes as well I think I read until volume 16 of Haikyuu but I want to like reread them same goes for this I want to like reread them so yeah hopefully I'll be able to do that in December then those were all of the like books and mangas that I can show you that I want to read in December. I also have other books that I want to read and those are the books that I'm gonna get for my birthday. I already have like a couple books I got for my birthday from my mom specifically and then one from one of my subscribers who also has a YouTube channel. It was very lovely of them to send me two books I think. I don't know because I haven't opened them. The reason why I'm pointing here, by the way, is because there's like a little like place where I put my birthday presents just on the ground. But yeah, thank you to the person who like bought me books off of my wish list. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I really want to read those books as well. 
like what whichever ones I get I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like read them immediately like I'm very excited for the books that I put on my wish list so yeah I do already know what books my mom bought me for my birthday because I was with her when she bought them um but I forgot like two of them already and there's four so yeah it will still kind of be a surprise I guess so yeah those are also books that I want to read uh in the month of December uh again I don't know what they are so I can't like show pictures of them but yeah that was my December TBR I guess I hope the lighting in this video wasn't too bad because because it's like winter there's very little like light outside so yeah I hope the lighting wasn't too bad I hope you didn't think my outfit was too ridiculous I feel like I say that every single time I film but I'm really just like branching out with my outfits and I'm really scared that people hate them. I need you guys' like opinion on it because I don't want to be laughed at when I like wear it in public. So yeah, I hope it doesn't look too ridiculous. Again, if you have the time, please like wish me a happy birthday in the comments. I would really appreciate it because again, I don't really have anyone else besides my parents who do that. So yeah, I would really appreciate it if you do wish me a happy birthday. And I guess this is the end of the video, which is great because I'm in pain. I had physical therapy yesterday and it wasn't good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop filming now because I still have a couple things I need to do. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and bye.